World War II endures in the popular imagination as a heroic struggle between good and evil, with Adolf Hitler driving the main events. But Hitler was not in power when the conflict erupted in Asia, and he was dead long before it ended. Nazi Germany never even fought in the Asian theater, and Hitler's empire in Europe left behind little but ashes and ruins. In its origins and its legacy, the Second World War was not Hitler's, but Stalin's war. Hitler's genocidal ambition may have helped unleash Armageddon, but as historians have discovered since the Soviet archives were opened, the war which emerged in Europe in 1939 was the one Stalin wanted, not Hitler. So too did the Pacific War fulfill Stalin's goal of unleashing a devastating war of attrition between Japan and the Anglo-Saxon capitalist powers he viewed as his ultimate adversary. The one thing Stalin had not reckoned on was that far from bleeding both sides equally as had the First World War, the second began in such lopsided fashion that Germany was hardly weakened at all. By striking in June 1941 before Stalin's armies were ready, Hitler turned the tables and very nearly won the war. But Stalin had one last card to play. Just as his empire was crumbling, his Anglo-Saxon adversaries opened up a critical Lend-Lease lifeline that rescued his faltering armies. In a story so strange that not even Lenin could have imagined it, American capitalism gave Stalin's armies the mobile striking power to conquer Eurasia, from Berlin to Beijing, for communism.